been like a pretty bad loss since, but it's good for Suga. He's been, he's been on the come up. Uh, for Jump City, you know, he's still doing consistently well. Um, usually, you can see him at Hollywood Action Tuesdays. He might be getting first place or second. Very rare that I see him get second. I think he lost to actually lost to uh, Muffin from Mars. Oh, uh, la yeah, yes, last right. last week. Yeah, so both of these players have actually taken some losses this current season. And of course, like I, like I mentioned, Suga, Muffin from Mars, Aladdin, these are all players who have actually been well known, slowly on the come up. They just needed the PR win, and unfortunately for her, <laughs> Jump Steady and Nitro, they were the wins that they got. Yeah, so we, uh, Jump City switching to Palutena in this game. And although he still does play the DSS, I believe. Mm -hmm. He still has uh, zero to seven in his arsenal, depending on certain matchups and how it goes. He'll switch between the two. Really good. So we saw Nitro kind of set up for a really good. Um, he had the corner really well covered because we saw Jump City kind of stay back, play a little bit lame. But he had them all set up with Cross and Holy Water. The way they angled from the platform PS2 was really good. I felt like if he had angled that forward air at a 45 degree angle, he could have survived that. But unfortunately, Nitro did not get that one. He aimed, actually aimed upwards. Whenever, a uh, little fun fact is whenever the Belmonts go for 45 degree angle forward airs, they have one of the longest tethers in the game, alongside Joker. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was scary. I was going to say, that was really scary. <laughs> I thought I was going to go off the stage. <laughs> Tries to check chase with a side beat. Nice. Uh, but it doesn't quite get it. Nitro looking for that spacing, but unfortunately the only one getting spacing here is jumps that he gets a nice little upper after the side beat. Yeah, and I think Jump City using these side beats, or at least at that scenario, he used the side beat. Oh, too. no. No. Yeah. He used the side beat to kind of uh, chase a Nitro. Like, mm -hmm. Nitro tried to run away, tried to set up, but a Jump City said, you know what? Uh, I know what you want to do. You don't want to fight me, and I'm, I've got a move that <laughs> deals with that pretty well. Mm hmm. Nitro so far looking to get back into control. I do like the fact that he's making sure he's had spacing, but unfortunately, when Paladin gets that close, he won't be able to get, like I mentioned earlier, that 45 degree angle forward air. Great range on the tether recovery in that forward air. Okay, but now uh, Nitro punishing that side beam. That was good. That's why you always want to sometimes toss cross in general, just because if you're going to get that grab, he's up to count for it. Unless they're ready for, their, for it with grab armor. Yeah, that's right. You can use grab armor to, armor to get around it, but it does uh, throw that extra thing that you have to think about. Mm -hmm. And okay, wow. I wonder if Jump City knew that the cross would run out of, uh, or they would have, he would have invincibility just long enough to avoid that cross. I like it from Nitro. Walks up slow forward tilt. Doesn't want to do too much. It's the back throw here. We're looking to get a little bit of a highway robbery here because uh, so far Jumpsuit was the one in the winner's seat, but Nitro slowly turned things around. Yeah, he, he's moving, he's throwing it out these. Uh, he's just covering it everywhere the jump City wants to be. There's a hitbox ready for him. Does it? Oh no. Yeah, yeah tipper, I was going to say it is it. Tipper F tilt going to close it out there. Definitely have to be careful with cross. That's why I see Nitro sometimes just toss it away from him because he knows I can definitely set up and pressure my opponent a little bit more. Gets clipped by the actual explosive flame on the way back down from down air. Oops. That was something Nitro. If I were Nitro, man, I would have never accounted for that, but sometimes you gotta expect the unexpected. Good spacing here for Nitro yet again. Kind of backs off with jump steady each of his forward airs. That's an edge there on the platform. Save pressure, but not really gonna get anything for it. Okay. For nice, going for a couple empty hops. Gotta use that double jump to get away from the explosive flame. Okay, another cross. Yeah, John City gets around it. He kind of had this action, uh, the whole shack set up here where he could just toss an axe if he called Jump City for the right. The shack oh. set up? Mm -hmm. Oh, he made a whole shack. He had, like, really I'm not gonna go ahead and explain it, but let's move on. <laughs> yeah, like that's, that's it. Yeah. I'd call it a small shack. That big. I didn't know if you meant like, you know. I played the fifth. <laughs> I played the fifth. Um, <laughs> the, the reason why I'm saying this is because like, he was, the way he had all the items and all the projectiles set up was like, I have uh, holy water at the ledge. If he does try to jump over the ledge or let go, like he has to worry about also the cross, I has to worry about the axe, right. or until the horizontal covers the horizontal plane. It's so it was- Standard Belmont mm -hmm. uh, ledge traps going on. Exactly. Probably one of easily like top five, in my opinion, top five of the best like, trap of the game. Jump City not gonna waste any more time. Just gonna go ahead and go with DSS. Uh, 
honestly, this is this is kind of a tough one for Belmont because he has the speed and the air-to-air -air combat is way faster than Richter and Simon. So he's able to actually do a lot better in that expertise, but it's all about how effectively Nitro can actually space out Jump City from trying to make those approaches. Not only that, how well he can actually make sure he keeps Jump City away from his range. Well, in ZSS's movement is so good that mm -hmm. um, you can position yourself in ways that other characters can't. So uh, Nitro needs to be really uh, clever about his, his ledge trap, his, uh, his projectiles, I should say. Yeah. And, and, and well, with each projectile, it's like you have to amount for the end lag, one of them being Axe. So he has to be careful when he's going to try to commit to Axe, especially at certain ranges. It's able to get in that arc working, kind of like interrupt with his flip. Flip kick, I'm sorry. But if the flip kick comes out first. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's where it loses and things he has to, Nitro has to account for. It's paralyzed. Good opportunity from Jump City, not going to waste time trying to go for a combo, immediately just gets him off the stage. That's where you kind of want to put Belmont, especially in this matchup, keep him off the stage and away from the entire game. Okay. Up beef. yep, that'll do it. It's the second time, it will be the charm. Yeah, Nitro thinking he's in a safe spot there, maybe trying to set up, and just didn't expect that aggressive option to cost him the stock. Mm -hmm. All right, throws out the axe, but uh, Jump City jumps over it. Okay, Co throws that, yeah, so... You know what I'm Again, saying? Belmont using all that pressure. He uses the cross to cover the platform. He throws the, the holy water uh, to cover the edge of the That'll do it. Yeah. It's, it's literally making sure that if Jump City gets an opportunity to breathe, it's not going to be that easy because he has to worry about all those projectiles on the stage. Good use of Uppy. Not going to go for the tether recovery here. Pretty solid choice. I do like... So the way that Nitro's using his movement is that he'll go... He'll walk space himself away a little bit away and then go for a back air because of the range that he's at it's a lot safer to space it that way rather than to stay close to range yeah, yeah and once you these zss characters just get uh players just get moving it's so hard to uh, set up against them especially when you're playing a character like belmont uh, one of the belmonts that just wants you to, to go away so you can go and throw stuff at you <laughs> <laughs> very true nitro taking his time able to barely get a uh, Honestly, his shield is the one thing that got clipped from down down. Yeah, but if, if Nitro can get back to neutral here, and like he's doing right now, and just uh, you know, start setting up again. And it's I guess tough. he can, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but that's what I'm saying, right? That's the one thing ZSS has an advantage over the Belmonts, that speed. And Belmonts do, they do so well in the ledge trap game and the spacing game. The route where they suffer, honestly, and even in their own actual game, they suffer with opponents that can actually stick very close to them and do enough damage like that. That boost kick is actually not going to be it. Of course, that wants to have the good close. weight. Yeah, now it's a guy. All right, the there. Again, more pressure coming out from Gun Steady. He's not letting Nitro find his footing. Yeah, as he should not. I mean, at this point, this is pretty much supreme oppression, and that neutral air will definitely be the one thing that takes it. It's uh, like I said, right? The Belmonts honestly struggle against characters who have good speed, fast damage, and honestly, like great frame data, like ZSS, Fox. They do suffer against those characters. So, so to say, zone breakers. And because ZSS is a zone breaker, has a lot of good pressure tools to put Belmonts on the back foot and hold shield more instead of having those projectiles out. It allows Jump City to just go ahead and get away with that. Right. That's, that's why I feel like he switched over Palu, which Palu. Even though she has great damage overall, when it comes down to her airspeed, it's not that fast compared to ZSS. Right, and, and ZSS being a, a momentum-based character mm -hmm. uh, can really get going against a character that wants to set up. Uh, it's, it's in your face so much, and okay. <laughs> and that's the, that's the smile of, all right, man, you just roll the dice with the RNG and see where you go. Yeah, uh, interesting choice here from Nitro. I feel like if he could just find his footing, he'd be okay in this matchup, but uh, option to go for the hero instead. I mean, where one thing that Hero can do a little bit more over than Richter is is kind of keep up in terms of speed. The weight that Hero is is very similar to Link. I believe it's kind of like heavyweight. So he'll still have the weight that you want to survive against the SS. The one thing you have to be careful, though, is you have really poor startup. Your aerials and your normals are not that great, but the one thing that honestly does work magic for the character is the character's actual magic. <laughs> so you want to be able to use usually rely that, but the problem is, like, you want the speed and distance to maximize your use of magic, but, like I said, DSS being a zone breaker, she could definitely get in and out of hero's range whenever she needs to. 
Well, yeah, and we're, we're just seeing Dumpsley dance in and out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got to use that speed. And the slow startup is just uh, making it so nice. So cannot land any Oh, Magic Burst. Oh, he waited for it. But he knew Dumpsley had to really move himself out of position where Magic Burst wouldn't connect to him at all. And the reason why you kind of want that when you come back on the stage is because you'll take no damage at all. And honestly, it's a great lead. It's like imagine starting the, the game with you have 0% and your opponent has 56 I would take that L all the time. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Nitro can ledge, okay. swings that forward air, almost gets the tech Maybe chase off the thunder. The momentum he needs. He's been unable to find almost any hits here. He's looks 40. Okay, now he's no tech chase. I do like the fact they use Kaboom. If he would have actually tackled backward, it, it would have caught him. Kaboom very similar to all the those explosive for him. Well, even stronger, that sucks you in. Mm hmm Has a win box. Okay, Nitro. Low on magic here, though. You need to go in. So. Oh, it's just uh, yeah. That's what I'm telling you. Like, it's there are a few things Hero has over the Belmonts, but when it comes down to like the actual brass tags, like it's it's definitely gonna be ZSS. This poor startup is one of the things that Hero suffer from. Come on, Upper doesn't even hit. Upper is actually really lame. He has no kill throws. Uh, but I'm pretty sure. Well, he does if you get the magic. <laughs> You can kill with up throw if you get uh, oomph and um, the other one. I'd you mean to tell me I have to roll the dice at a possibility to actually kill my opponent with a kill throw? I don't oh, that won't even be. Oh, uh, no. He just three stocked him. Yeah. I mean, but like I said, right? Like, he knows I have a character that can do.